Hello and welcome to St Ives, voted year on year as the UK's favourite holiday spot. Let's explore this seaside town and find out what makes it so special. Let's go. Nearly one million visitors every single year come and visit St Ives. And to put that in perspective for you, the permanent residency of St Ives varies between 10,000 to 20,000 year on year. And like I said, each year there's an influx of nearly one million tourists to this tiny little Cornish town. It's the last week in March now. The sun is out and the tourists are beginning to flood back into Cornwall and St Ives specifically. You can see a car here trying to pass just above the harbour here in St Ives. I can imagine for the locals when the tourists arrive and all of these seating areas out here are full, I can imagine trying to get through if you have to pass through here it would be a real pain in the bum. And as the tourists arrive back in St Ives, so do the seagulls. You can hear them above lurking, just waiting for that unsuspecting tourist to put that chip in their mouth. And just as they do, boom, swoop. And they'll come and take it straight out of their hand. I've seen it happen countless times here in St Ives. So funny number of English seaside towns are considering whether to cull their seagull populations after a string of attacks on people and their pets. There is actually warning signs up on the harbour front warning you of the violent seagulls that will swoop down and come and take your take your chips out of your hand. Crazy. So as you can see, St Ives sort of centres around this harbour area here. And it goes round the bay to Carbis as well, where one of the finest art galleries in the United Kingdom is held. I'm currently stood in the harbour. It's low tide there, you can see the boats. There's the beautiful Atlantic Ocean there. Here behind me, one of the main reasons that brings those tourists flocking to St. Ives every single year. The beautiful blue Atlantic Ocean here behind me. Stunning. Home to some of the finest waves to be surfed. Some of the finest swimming beaches. Surf? In the United Kingdom? Yes. The United Kingdom is home to some of the finest surf beaches and some of the most crystal clear water to be found anywhere in the United Kingdom. Walking along the harbour top now in St Ives, there's so many beautiful art galleries, coffee shops, little souvenir shops. Every shop is filled and bustling. Beautiful seafood bar there. St Ives is nationally renowned for its seafood here in the United Kingdom. Many, many seafood restaurants here on the harbour front. Here, the Cornish Bakehouse. Cornwall is nationally renowned for its Cornish pasties. Let's see if we can take a look at one here. Do you have any of the beef and silk? No. Beautiful old pub here. I've just caught up with one of my subscribers here, Freddie, in the most beautiful place in the United Kingdom, in my opinion, St. Ives. It's Freddie, what's drawing you here, mate? Uh, getting out of Birmingham. So, so that'll do it. That'll yeah, do it for yes. you, mate. Wow. Holiday. Bit of a Enjoy change it. of scenery for you, boss. Definitely, yeah. Enjoy the sunshine as well. Yeah, no. it's, uh, it was a bit of a it was a bit different yesterday, wasn't it, mate? Yeah, you dressed for the occasion. That's it's all it. Good. But the sun's out in the United Kingdom today, and that's what counts. Definitely. So what are you looking to uh, what are you looking to see here in St. Ives, mate? Uh, enjoy the beach with the dog, yeah. get some food, a rattler. Cool. Have a good time. A corner cider. Definitely. Definitely, mate. It's um it's so quintessentially British, isn't it? As we're looking around here, guys, I'm looking at all the, the old Victorian buildings around the seaside here, which we will be exploring. 
Freddie, what's your thoughts on it, mate? Come down and visit. Come down and visit, yeah. definitely. It's, it's voted year on year as the best resort in the UK, isn't it? Yeah. And you can see why for good reason, really, mate. Like, definitely a place to come. Definitely. Freddie, enjoy your day, mate. Good nice one. Appreciate it. Nice one, Freddie. Best, nice one, boss. Thank you, mate. So many little side alleys to explore. Let's head down here now. Let's have a look. A whistlefish. St. Ives Shell Shop. Wow, I'll try to say that five times fast. St. Ives Shell Shop. St. Ives Shell Shop. Of course, I can't come to Cornwall without mentioning the pirates. Cornwall was a haven for the pirates during the 16th and 17th century. The rugged coastline of Cornwall was used for hundreds of years for hiding the treasures and booty of numerous pirates here in the United Kingdom. As I walk these cobbled streets here in St. Ives, it's so quintessentially British. Look at just down there, stunning. Fudge shops, pastry shops, pasty shops, all of the British favourites. Let's head down here. St. Ives Glass Studio. St. Ives is renowned for its arts, being home to the Tate Modern at St. Ives. Here. One of the grandest art galleries here in the United Kingdom. See the Cornish Bakehouse there, and the tradesmen queuing up, ready for their pasties. As I walk the cobble back streets here in St. Ives, you can see how busy it is. Can you just imagine what it's like during the height of summer? As I said earlier in the video, nearly 900,000 visitors visit St. Ives each year putting immense pressure on the local community. Walking these back streets here in St. Ives is a real, real treat. At every turn, there's something else to see. A row of shops, a different cafe, a different view of the ocean. It is really stunning here. As I wander the back streets here in St. Ives, you can see all the residential buildings here. So stunning, so quintessentially British. However, there are some problems in St. Ives. One of which is the second home problem, where wealthy Londoners and people from out of the town buy second homes within St. Ives, and that's driven the house prices up and up and up. And now it's put the locals in a sticky position where they may not be able to afford rentals or to buy in the town that they grew up. It's a really sad time for the people in St. Ives that are saving up for a deposit on a first home and unfortunately aren't likely to be able to purchase a house in the, in the town that they once grew up in. A young fisherman there carrying their catch. How many did you get today, mate? How many? 32 between us all. 32 between you all? It's a good crack going magical fishing. Isn't it? it is truly special here and I can really see why it is voted as the UK's number one seaside resort.